Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com. It's December 15th, 2010, and we are about 10 days away from Christmas. And I have something special for you guys. For the lucky person, it's going to get a fully shopped out, mechanically shopped out, uh, 1956 United's Bowling Alley Ball Bowler. This is an 11 foot model, and it's been totally gone through. And this first video is actually uh, going to show the uh, machine and all the work I've done on it. So what we're starting with is, is a nice original cabinet. This did not need a repaint, so I mean green the entire cabinet. It has really nice graphics, and I cleaned up all the hardwood with a special wood cleaner. And as you can see, the graphics are really, really nice on this. Look at that. And you can see the graphics right here, 10 cent per player. Look how nice that is. Everything about this machine was a, is so nice and original. Um, and I'll show you the insides when we get to it and talk about the work I did on it. But as you can see, how nice the hardwood is and all the original graphics. Get a good look at this. Back glass is near perfect. It's a couple minor blemishes. There's one right up in here, and that's about it, and a little bit up in there. And that's it. Back glass is really, really nice, as you can see. All right, let's talk about what we did. Um, we serviced the coin mech. So the coin mech works on a dime play. You stick in six dimes, you get six players. We also hooked up the uh, ball return button here also for credit. So if you don't want to put dimes in, push the button once. It'll reset the machine and give you uh, one player. Push it another three, four, five times. And each time you push it, you'll get an additional player all the way up to six players. This machine features all new locks. Lock on the uh, two back doors, the ball lift motor door and the upper door for the score reels, and a new lock on the uh, coin door down here. Okay, let's walk up here. We'll take a look. Underneath here, we put in all new light sockets. See those light sockets? No more flickering. Brand new light bulbs. We took all the original pins and we cleaned them all up and made them look great. Totally detailed the Formica and cleaned up all the lane switches here. Made sure everything functions properly. And uh, so that's what we've got going on right here. Let's go around the back of the machine here. A lot of people often ask me, what does it take to get a ball bowler running reliable? What do I have to do, Mickey, to make sure that my ball bowler is working right? Well, what you have to do is entirely go through the entire machine mechanically. And that means going through every one of these score reels. There's 16 of them, three for each player. Okay, that takes about 30 minutes. You have to take the score reels off the spindle, get all the grease and gunk and all the crap off them, and service them, test them for functionality, put them back on. So it's about eight or nine hours just doing score reels. And we do all the switches and all the relays here. You see these little switches here with the coils? And then we do these step up units. These are big fancy switches. These need to be disassembled. They take about an hour and a half to two hours to do each one. And um, these are very important that they work properly. These are all lubed and greased with uh, lithium grease and everything works good. And then again, over here are the plugs that plug in the bottom of the machine down here to the uh, upper part of the machine. These plugs are all cleaned and uh, serviced, the male and female ends, so they uh, have good continuity and they work good. Coming down here, very important, this is your ball trough area, right down here where the ball comes down, lands in here and it comes over here, and it goes up this conveyor belt here and brings the ball back. There's a little motor in here, this needs to be serviced, taken apart, cleaned and lubed put back together. There's also a pulley system down here. We took off the belt, took apart this bottom pulley system, re-greased it, got all the old gunk and grease off. Now the belt runs smoothly and then most of all there's a belt guide, these little metal th things. These were uh, stiff. We made sure those are spinning properly so the ball comes back properly. So that's part of the, th part of the uh, process of doing this. Now we're going to open up the, uh, the uh, machine and take a look inside. Go ahead. We're going to Slowly lift it up. Okay, keep going. A little more. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the machine lifts up. There's a little locking mechanism over here. And uh, this is the guts of your bowler. And 
one thing I like about this bowler is look how almost looks new. That's how nice this machine was. This machine had been parked for 35 years and not worked. Uh, just sitting there waiting for somebody to uh, mechanically restore it fully 100%. So just look at how clean the bottom of this wood is. Looks brand new. There's no warpage. There's no damage. It's great. All right. So what did we do in here that makes this machine work? Well, these are, this is your pin reset bank. All these switches, there's got to be 50 or 60 switches in that. All those switches were gone through. They were filed, they were cleaned and uh, serviced, they were regapped, and they were checked for continuity and functionality, and everything's working great, including the coils. And we did all these step-up units. These are fancy switches right here. They have the little dials on them like hands and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them. That's about an hour for each one. Take them apart, make sure that they're cleaned, the shafts are lubed, everything's put back together and they're checked for functionality. Same thing, all the wiring on all the relays down in here, all the switches, everything's checked. Again, the score motor, this is like your brain. It works the motor, the score motor, and the pin reset bank work hand in hand and which causes your machine to function properly which tells the machine <clears throat> how to score and how, what uh, pins that go up and down so basically what you have to do when you go through a machine is you have to go through everything in this bottom board here this is about probably 20 hours worth of work this part has been totally serviced new fuses power supply checked tilt switch checked all the step-up units gone through, all the relays, the score motor, lubed and cleaned, everything. And we come over to here, this is the bottom of your bowler, right here. These are all the rollover switches. These, some of these were, uh, were checked. Uh, we went through all the switches and made sure they were filed and cleaned, but then we checked for functionality because the ball rolls over these switches over here when the ball rolls across it, which makes the pins go up. And then last but not least, We'll go ahead and close this. We go, went ahead and serviced all the coils underneath here. These are all your coils that cause the pins to go up and down. And there's also a motor back here, which is your pin reset motor. And we also serviced that. So what did we end up with? We ended up with about 40 hours of mechanical restoration. We have the back doors over here. There's an upper and a lower back door and we also have the feet that go on the game right now they're on little wheel dollies over here as you can see and then over here we have a service manual for troubleshooting which we'll give a copy to the new owner and a couple of three inch balls that go along with the game so there you go 1956 United Bowling Alley ball bowler totally restored and, uh, and refurbished mechanically and very nice original cabinet with original hardwood fully working. And I'm proud to say that whoever gets this is going to really have a nice machine that's going to work for years to come. So, all right. So what you guys want to do is you want to check out video two. And what that video is, is going to be us bowling a few uh, games on this machine to show you how well it works. So this is a lot of fun. Um, and I really appreciate all you guys that check out my videos. And um, so there you have it. So check out video two. And this is Mickey from coinopnewyork.com, coinopny.com. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm in Rochester, New York. My number is 585-747-0605. Give me a call. I do jukeboxes, ball bowlers, vintage EM arcade machines, pinball machines. I can help with repair help. Give me a call. I'll do anything to help anybody out and uh, give you good advice. So, all right, you guys check out video two, and thanks for watching my videos. You guys have a great day and a great Christmas.